Rest of tonight's top stories, investigators say a suspicious package at the Reading DMV was actually a box of trash. The Shasta County Bomb Squad was called to the DMV offices on Civic Center Drive after a maintenance worker found the box in the parking lot. Several nearby offices were evacuated along with Cypress Elementary School. Everyone is now being let back into the offices and officials say Civic Center Drive should be reopened by 6. A Santa Clara woman loses her life on Mount Shasta. According to the Siskiyou County Sheriff's Office, 56-year-old Kathy Ludwig was about 11,000 feet up on Sunday when a watermelon-sized rock hit her in the chest. Search and rescue crews have been extra busy this year responding to emergencies on Mount Shasta. Rescuers say they've pulled 14 climbers off the mountain since June. And Chico City Councilman Tom Nichols says he will not seek a second term. Nichols, a retired California Highway Patrol officer, was elected in 2006. He says medical problems have made it difficult to sit through the lengthy meetings. But he will stay on the council until his term ends at the end of this year. Larry Wall also will be leaving the council at the end of the year to take over as District 2 supervisor in Butte County. Well, it's easy to lose your cool during all this hot weather, especially if your air conditioner is old and run down. But as Action News reporter Audrey Assisio explains, a new Cash for Clunkers program aims, aims to keep your home cool without burning up your budget. And it costs the homeowners a a whole lot of extra money than they than they really should be uh, spending on their utility bills. Old beat up air conditioners could make a beautiful summer miserable if they don't work properly. And we all know new AC systems don't always come cheap. That's why the federal government is offering homeowners a tax rebate of up to $1,500 to replace old AC units with more efficient systems. Gallagher's plumbing, heating and air conditioning owner Tim Gallagher says modern AC systems provide a number of benefits. Well, the potential benefits uh, can be of course, uh, utility savings. Many systems are, um, you know, costing an arm and a leg to operate, and a lot of times they're not maintenance up or they're old, and uh, they uh, run a whole bunch in weather like this. Gallagher adds that most importantly, new AC units provide comfort, and savings could reach into the hundreds of dollars. For example, a typical AC system costs around $5,000, minus the tax rebate of $1,500, and annual power bill savings of around $450. A new AC unit could pay for itself in about six years. If that's not realistic for you, there are other things you can do. They really should invest in a tune-up in their air conditioner. And this will help them with greater comfort in their home, and it'll lo help lower their utility bills. It can also, it, it can also, when done properly, extend the life of uh, the system that they have. And then once they can see how their system's operating, they can then make the decision, do they think they need a new air conditioner or not? In Butte County, I'm Audrey Assistio for Action News. For information on the Cash for Clunkers program, you can visit our website, knbn.com, and click on News Links. We hear it all too often these days, city officials trying to keep their heads above water when it comes to all the budget cuts. As Action News reporter Derek Demo shows us, unfortunately, things like the city pool are draining money and resources. Until you have somebody who drowns in the river, because it's right here, right beside us, you're never going to know what it's like to be without a pool. Red Bluff City employee Daniel Jackson is outraged that the city pool where she has worked for 16 years is on the chopping block to be closed down yet again due to a lack of funds and an increasing budget deficit. We do so many powerful things here. Swim lessons run from the age of six months old all the way to an adult. Red Bluff released its newest budget numbers June 26th. Parks and Recreational Director Debbie Carlisi says despite all the pool does for the community, it generates little income and drains the city's budget budget. Therefore, they are unable to fund it next year. We need the community support to bring the pool back to where it needs to be because city, the city is not doing it. Red Bluff isn't the only one whose budget has threatened to pull the plug on its pool. Corning also deals with a leaking budget that continues to threaten their local cooling off spot. In addition, the city of Willows worked with its community to keep their pool afloat. Some say with the river so close by, the pool is unnecessary. Others argue that the river's deep waters and swift currents are no place for children. The river is the worst case scenario. The tides that can pull the kids under, even the most experienced swimmer is not going to be able to uh, be saved from that. Danielle continues to work with her club, Blues for the Pool, raising money in an attempt to keep it open, hoping children aren't let down in the end. It'll make me sad. Why would it make you so sad? Um, because 
it, it's closed and we can't go swimming anymore. In Red Bluff, I'm Derek Demo for Action News. Well, funding for the pool will be discussed at tonight's 7 o'clock City Council meeting. Butte Community Bank is taking on a new financial advisor in order to get back in the good graces of the FDIC. The bank's parent company, Community Valley Bank Corp., has hired Capello Capital to help revise their capital structure after receiving a corrective order from the FDIC back in May. The order notified Butte Community Bank that it must take steps to reach regulatory minimums. Bank officials say Capello's assistance is the best chance they have at turning things around. The box office is open at Chico State. Around 13,000 tickets were sold today for the upcoming season of the Chico Performances Series. Box office officials say several people were already lined up when they arrived around 5 this morning, and the line was a block long when they opened at 8.30. The early morning ticket buyers were hoping to grab the best seats for performances from Steve Martin and the Steep Canyon Rangers, NBC's Last Comic Standing, and Monty Python's Spamalot. Many ticket buyers say this could be the best year Chico performances has ever had. Yeah, I usually get one or two shows. This is the first time I've come early to get a package of six so we could get the uh, discount and the special seating. Right now, tickets are only available in six show packages. Individual show tickets go on sale August 2nd. For more information about upcoming shows, you can call 898-6333. Today, a judge ordered actress Lindsay Lohan to spend 90 days in jail for a probation violation. Lohan burst into tears after the sentencing. The judge ruled that Lohan violated her probation in a 2007 drug case by failing to attend oh, court-ordered alcohol education um, classes. Lohan has to turn that, herself in um, on July 20th. You know, she is also required to enter an inpatient rehab program after getting out of jail.